This is a deleted Intel i9-14900KS. By removing the top IHS cover, this allows the user to directly cool the CPU die or to facilitate the application of higher quality thermal material like liquid metal. The Iceman Cooler Intel LGA 1700 CPU D-Lid tool is designed to safely and effectively remove the CPU's IHS. Keep in mind, deleting the CPU voids its warranty. What's included in the box is a hex key, four torque screws, a torque screwdriver, and the Iceman Cooler D-Lid tool itself. The D-Lid starts by first loosening the hex bolt on top, then taking out the D-Lid cover. To ensure the correct orientation, locate the triangle at one corner of the CPU. On the front, there are two in one corner. On the back, there is one in the same corner. Drop the CPU into the D-Lid tool so the triangles line up, then drop the D-Lid cover on top of the CPU and secure it with four Torx screws. making sure to use the Torx screwdriver to tighten the screws. The D-Lid cover should be completely flush with the D-Lid tool. And on the back, you can see the back side of the CPU sitting flat in the tool. With the CPU secure, we're ready to D-Lid it. From here, we'll use the hex key and tighten the bolt until the D-Lid cover moves all the way to the end. Using the long side of the hex key as a handle, the bolt turns without much force. We can see the cover is now at the end and the screw has been tightened. The CPU remains stationary underneath while the IHS cover was pushed off of the PCB held together only by glue. Now let's loosen the top hex bolt and then loosen and remove the four torque screws. And there is the CPU after using the tool. From here, we'll use plastic tools with thin edges to help remove the black glue. And then to carefully pry the CPU cover off. And that is it. The CPU has been safely and effectively delitted. Now let's clean it for installation. We'll start with softening and loosening the glue with isopropyl alcohol. A plastic tool can help scrape off the glue, but it will only be as effective as the sharpness of its edge. So an acrylic terminal with a sharp edge was used to scrape off the glue and also the thermal material on top of the CPU die. Keep in mind, excessively sharp or hard tools may damage the PCB or CPU itself. Extra caution should be taken around the SMD components on the PCB. Thermal paste was applied along with isopropyl alcohol to help remove the remaining solder on the die. Liquid metal can also be used to dissolve indium. We can further polish the die to a mirror finish, but having the surface flat with no thermal material remaining is all that's required. Now the D-Lidded CPU has been cleaned and is ready for installation. The Iceman Cooler D-Lid Die Guard is a protective component designed for use with CPUs using direct die cooling methods. Alternatively, the Iceman Cooler Direct Die Water Block can be used to directly cool the die. If this water block is used, then the Direct Die Guard is not required. It's one or the other. With the CPU delitted and facilitating direct contact between the cooler and the CPU die, heat dissipation is significantly enhanced and the CPU can be pushed towards full performance as compared to traditional cooling methods. Hope that helps.